don't tell me I'm out of line. Well, you, you, you frame, don't tell me. You I'm frame, making you frame, you frame Third, the statement of a tough your guy. Mouth yeah. Because you don't know you're what you're talking about. You're going to tell me to shut my mouth? Yes, yeah. I did. Hold it. Yeah. Hold it. Yes, tough guy. I'm not Senator, afraid of physical. Senator, Senator, don't hold it. But don't sit there and tell me I'm out of line. Admittedly, this is neither here nor there. But I just had to talk about the union boss, Mr. O'Brien, totally handing an ass. Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, a multimillionaire who owns a plumbing business, as well as two first names, got into a tense exchange with the president of the Teamsters Union during a committee hearing chaired by Bernie Sanders. To a piece of shit, rich Republican who thought he could have something over on the working man. The hearing was about the growing influence of unions and the importance of allowing workers to organize without any illicit corporate union busting. And as you can see from this clip, I think it's safe to say unions are done taking crap from wealthy CEOs and their patrons in Washington. You're talking about CEOs that are making all this money? And what do you make, Mr. O'Brien? What do you bring for that salary? What do I bring? Yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what job have you committed or have you, have you uh, uh, started? What job have you created? One job, other than sucking the paycheck out of some other body, somebody else that you want to say that you're trying to provide because you're forcing them to pay dues? And no, then, we don't force them. Senator, you've asked the question. You're out of line. Let him answer Actually, the I question. have it, and no, don't tell me I'm out you of line. You are out of line. Oh, Mark Wayne got his ass handed to him. And he didn't even know it yet. Don't tell me I'm out of line. Well, you, you, you frame, don't tell me. I'm making frame, a you frame, you frame Third, the statement of a tough your guy. Mouth yeah. Because you don't know you're what you're talking about. You're going to tell me to shut my mouth? Yes, yeah. I did. Hold it. Yeah. Hold it. Yes, tough guy. I'm not Senator, afraid of physical. Senator, Senator, don't hold it. But don't sit there and tell me I'm out of line. You know, I never liked anybody with two first names. You can't trust them. Don't sit there and tell me I'm out of line. As far as my salary goes, my salary, if you follow me around, I walk, I actually look at this building. I bet you I work more hours than you do. Twice that's, as many hours. That's impossible. But no, that is, that's true. But this guy is just a piece of shit. Oh, he's a job creator. So, all other bets are off. Hold greedy CEOs that's like yourself not, accountable. You call me a greedy CEO. Oh, yeah, you are. You want to attack my salary, I'll attack yours. You're, what did ahead. you make? What did you make when you owned your company? The reality is, this guy's about to admit that he cheated on his taxes. Let's watch. What did, you make? what did you make when you owned your company? When I made my company, I kept my salary down at about uh, 50000 a year because I invested every penny into it. Okay. All right. You mean you hid money? No, I didn't hide. Oh. oh. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh. He said that's out of line. You said right, I was out of line. We're even. We're, even. Made, made, we're not even. We're not even close to being even. Now, yeah. let me tell you about Mark Wayne Mullen. He has a plumbing company. And even though he only made $50,000 a year, Mark Wayne Mullen's worth $20 million. You think it's smart? You think you're funny? Huh. How could that be? Is it because he was hiding his money? You think it's smart? You think you're funny? No, you're, you're not. You think you're funny. Listen, Mark, Marky Mark, Mark Wayne, Mark Wayne Gacy, I can't remember. It's obvious. It's obvious from your accent you're from out of town. So as a New Englander myself, let me give you some advice. Don't ever say, do you think you're funny, to a bald teamster with a Boston accent. <laughs> That's usually when the needle drops on a Dropkick Murphy song and the montage starts, if you get what I mean. And based on the face he's making, I believe he does think he's funny. And I also think he's funny, because I, I don't want trouble either. No. You're goddamn right it was. No. CEOs in the millionaire class are clearly terrified of the possibility that workers might have more power if they can organize without interference. And you can see the terror on Mullen's face. In fact, the best part to me is when the multimillionaire senator, whose net worth is reportedly between 31 and $75 million, says he took a $50,000 salary and then is immediately told he's hiding it. Stuff like this just warms my heart. Democrats are better at this than Republicans are. And it's not because we're good at being politicians. It's because Republicans are fucking stupid. It catches Mullen so off guard, he has to hear it twice before he's offended. You mean you hid money? No, I didn't hide. Oh, oh. hold on a second. <laughs> it's like watching Mo Sislak realize there's no one at the bar named Mike Roch. <laughs> hey! I'm sure he was a good plumber. But don't bring some half-ass bullshit to this table. Also, I love Bernie getting in the middle of that whole thing to re 
store. There's something very funny about referee Bernie. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to say the same thing about this fight that I say about the big banks. Break it up! Because once again, a Republican came to a knife fight with a fucking bandana, which he will now have to use to wipe his shit. And exposes that the right's BS about standing up for the working class is all just a lie. I sure hope the IRS audits his ass. Sounds like it's about time. Y'all take it easy. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Like a shell-shocked basketball coach giving a post-game press conference after losing by 50 points. Hey, what was the biggest issue out there today, coach? Oh. <laughs> uh, I guess I'd say the biggest issue is we uh, suck at basketball. <laughs> <laughs>